Okay, mm-hmm. free. Mm-hmm. So I saw you was live on yeah. Instagram the yeah. other night, and you had a little back and forth with you and Pinky the Rapper, another famous rapper from Washington, D.C. Yeah. What's that? How's you and your relationship with Pinky? Uh, I fuck with Pinky the Rapper, man. Uh, I, I picked her up and shit. If people don't know who Pinky the Rapper is, she's a very thick, you know, got some cheeks on her and shit like that. <laughs> and I, I lift her up, you know what I'm saying? My yeah. knee, my knee got put in second gear, and she don't follow me, bro. So <laughs> oh, no. I don't, I don't know what that's so about. So did you fall? <laughs> no, I ain't fall. I she didn't, she didn't think I can go for the second time. Like, you know, I, I squat girls and I go one, two. I would try to go for two. She wasn't fucking with it. Oh yeah. And I got, I got follow because of that. Yeah, she like, seemed Damn. like she was kind of mad on that live, you know. Yeah, she, she, but she seems like she's very much a supporter of you. Yeah. Um, and, and what you do. Yeah. And and just talking about like rappers and DC rappers, I've seen you with Wale. Mm. Well, I mean, is Wale the DC rapper or a Maryland rapper? No, he from D. He, he from DC, bro. He's from DC. He's from DC, bro. Yeah, I'm so confused. I've heard people say he was from Maryland. People say people, people say DC. I'm from Maryland, and they don't even know me, bro. So I mean, just because he don't act or dress as if a, a average DC nigga. I don't mean he not from D.C., bro. It's a white boy named Tom from D.C., bro. Y'all, y'all claim him. So, I mean, come on, bro. If he say he from where he's from, that's where he's from, bro. Respect. But even more bigger is that you were actually on a Wale video. Mm-hmm. You mind to just elaborate on that? Yeah, man. Uh, How grew, was that? I grew up watching Wale, bro. This shit new to me, fool. Like, I grew up watching Wale and all these niggas and shit. So when it had to, for me to be in a music video and shit like that, it was like, damn, this shit crazy. But I got to still remember, like, damn, I'm free. I'm fucking shit up right now. Even with Ann Glizzy, like. How did you come, how did you and Wale even meet? His management hit me up, bro. They did me. I swear to <coughs> God, I thought that shit was fake, bro. Nigga, Wale didn't even follow, bro. None of that shit. And I'm like, damn, like, I'm like, all right, fuck. He started sending me the, the whole itinerary. I was like, I was like, all right, bet. I pulled up. Wale was like, man, I'm a fan of your shit. I watch all your shit. I'm like, what the fuck? And then wow. that's what it went at. Like, shout out to Wale, bro, because he ain't had to put me in this video. Was that the first time you was ever on a music video? Uh, nah, it's my it's the biggest though, but it's like my third time. Okay, how third. was your experience on the video? It was Wale cool. It was oh yeah, yeah cool. He a cool nigga, bro. Like he a cool nigga. Like he the type that's gonna pull up to the scene and greet everybody and talk to everybody, even though like you, like you was signed to MGM. I mean M- MMG and shit. You know what I'm saying? You you were Rick Ross, you were all these big niggas, and you greeting everybody like who one of them niggas is like uh treat the janitor like the boss type nigga. Like who one of them? Oh, so you I saying he basically him. very humble. Yeah, he humble. Like he ain't no Yeah, he humble, bro. Okay. So where is pre Hefner going from here to now? Like you become you say you've been in the game for a year and a half, and bro, you've been killing it, bro. Like Give you your flowers. You've been killing it. It's not a skit. I don't watch it yours. It's not a skit I've seen of yours that I didn't think was funny. <laughs> like, yeah. like, bro, you got it. And I seen, man, I think it was Goofy. Yeah. The Goofy, the comedian from Merlin. Yeah. And he made a, a video basically talking about all the DC comedians. Yeah. And you came back with some fire. Like, mm-hmm. what? What made you go that hard? Like, I've seen it was a rap and... Oh, oh he yeah. a dictionary vibe. Man, it should be fun and games, bro. But, you know, I, I, I used to rap and shit, so... You yeah. actually, you was a rapper? Yeah, I was a rapper, bro. Wow. I was a rapper, bro. So when they, you know, when you diss every comedian, you feel me? And he diss me directly. I had to, you know, I had to go on that jump real quick, bro. Go in the booth. Uh, no, I, I went on the motherfucking iPhone, nigga. That shit, that, that, that shit wasn't even no booth. You recorded bro. that from an iPhone? Yeah, I recorded it on the iPhone, bro. I ain't, with the beat in the background me. and everything? Yeah, like, you dissing me, bro. Like, it's cool. Like, I'm going to go ahead and get on the phone real quick and rap about it. This shit ain't nothing. Oh, bro. some slice shit. Yeah. <laughs> bro, it sounded like he was in the studio. Like, no, I wasn't, bro. I was on the fucking <laughs> iPhone recording through the AirPod and shit. Yeah. <laughs> so you came back quick. Yeah, Goofy's, man. I don't have a, I don't have a hop out there with me, man. So, no, I fuck okay. with him, man. So, respect to Goofy, man. Yeah, shout out, shout out to Goofy. Shout out to all the comedians, bro. We do this shit for fun, bro. Okay, so where do you see the DC comedy scene going from here? Like, a lot of times I hear that 
it's uh DC is a crab in a barrel city. Would you mm-hmm. consider that? DC a crab I, in a barrel city? I, I'm gonna say that for the people that live in DC. I feel like I mean, they, they, when they say crab in a barrel, they try to think artists breaking each other down and shit. I feel like it's the city, bro. Like it's the people, bro. Like people will see like I can real life get a Grammy nominee, bro, or a, a Emmy or some shit, right? And people will see me on the street, right? Oh, that's just pretty. He ain't, he ain't nobody for real. Nigga, I'm doing shit that nobody else ever fucking did. And they ain't try to downplay it. It's, it's just the city, bro. It's not even the, it's not even the artists. It's not the comedians. It's just the area you in, bro. They don't respect you enough, fool. Like, they're not going to support. Like, are you not even supporting a rapper? They support a rapper for two summers after that, they done. You know what I'm saying? They not still keeping up with them, still buying the album, still going to the shows. Like, niggas need that shit, bro. That's how I feel, bro. Respect. 